hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm juliana and in today's video we are going to begin our challenge 12 books for 12 months of 2023 this is my january book and i'm talking about burning bright by john steinbeck john steinbeck was born in salinas california in 1902 in a poor family he went to the Stanford University, but he never concluded a course. In 1925, he went to New York, where he tried to be a writer, but soon he came back to California without any, su any su success. He obtained his first success in 1935 with Tortilla Flat. His fiction is marked with an immense preoccupation with the labor problems of rural workers and also a great fascination with the land. In 1939, he will, he will publish that will be considered by many his great work, Grapes of Wrath. He received the Nobel Prize of Literature in 1962 and he passed away in New York at 20 of December of 1968. So in Burning Bright we have we only have four characters. This is a really short book. In my Portuguese edition this book has 112 pages. So it's really short. And Steinbeck, in the preface, he says that this book is his third try in creating a new genre, the novel stage play. And he says he supposes he's the first person trying to do that. He says that, in a way, it's an error calling it a new genre. Maybe it is a combination or of various forms already known. He says that plays can be hard to read and maybe they are uh, read mostly by people that are deambling in theater and not so much for the regular reader. And so this, this was an attempt to create something new and create something that could be read by many people. And the second point uh, on the reasoning of John Steinbeck for trying to create a new type of writing, a new genre, the novel stage play, he says it was supposed to be more easy for actors and directors and producers and even to the reader by giving a sum of information that would facilitate the staging. So he wanted to have the best of both uh, two worlds uh, and create um, a work that could be read by a great majority of readers and at the same time be produced by a um, stage team for theater. So a combination here. So talking a bit about the plot of uh, Burning Bright. So as, as I've said, we only have four characters. We are introduced to Joe Soul, friend Ed, Mordine and Victor. We understand that Joe Soul and Mordine are in a relationship, but we understand that Joe Soul is a bit older or a considerable amount of years older than Mordine. So because this book is divided in acts, so the first act is called The Circus, where we have him we have them talking to each other it's a lot of dialogues as this format is a novel 
stage play, so it has a lot of dialogues, that's the point. And we are presented to Joe Soul that we understand is a trapezist, together with Maureen, with Mordin, they are talking, and we understand that Joe Soul has some condition that perhaps he is unfertile. Because he and Mordin were trying to have a baby and the desire of Josol to be a father was great. It was the thing that would complete his life and would fulfill his desire to be eternal, to be immortal, to be immortalized is so if he had children and Mordin had already suggested they adopted but Joe Soul wasn't fond of that idea because he wanted that his son or daughter have his seed so so for it so for he or she have his blood here comes friend Ed, that is friend of the couple, and we understand that in between he must work for the circus, but it's funny, we never have a um, description of the scenery, or the ambience, or the context where they are, we just have um, a description of the characters and their dialogues, and between the dialogues, we understand what they do and where they are. So, we don't have any um, elements of the circus in here. We just find out in the conversation between characters that they are trapezists. But that's it. And friend Ed talking to, Mor to Mordin. And so, Victor is also a worker of the circus. Um, at least, I, I, I don't know if I wasn't paying much attention, but at least I didn't catch what exactly did, did, the, the, did he do, or what he did in the circus. Specifically, if you, if you were an artist or if you were just like staff, but Victor, uh, we find out, is in love with Mordin. He's attracted to her. But Mordin um, clarifies that, that the man that she loves is Joe Sol. And that Victor doesn't have a chance with her. But this anxiety and this ambition of Joe Sol to have children is getting a toll on Mordin and Mordin talking to friend Ed says that that she wants to give him what she wants that she wants to him for to be happy and to be realized and content and so there's um, how can I say it an implicit idea here that comes to the heads of friend Ev and Mordin at the same time that friend Ev like predicts what is going on in the head of Mordin and what she is planning to do so that she can provide what Joe Soul wants children um, and there's like a, a quartet that forms in here between these four characters um, where this force and this want of Joso to have children and to be his children because what we understand is that when he was a child he has a rheumatic fever and he had fever for a week or so and so that was like a condition that 
perhaps interfered with his fertility and Joel Saul mortifies himself because of that fact. But there is a point that Mordin in the second act, if I'm not mistaken, yes, the second, the second act is called The Farm. So we hear, we don't have like um, a narration of the event, like what happened, what, if they moved or not, but it's like implicit that they did. So it's like now they are not working in the circus anymore and they are in a house, in a farm, but they are the four there together. Or at least we only become to know these four characters. But sometimes in the dialogues we understand there's more people involved or more people around, but we never know who they are or if they are there even. And so in the farm, Mordine has news because uh, Joe Sol had confessed to a friend Ed that he found Mordine a bit strange um, in the last days. She was sick many times and well, we know what happened, right? So she got pregnant. And uh, Joe Sol becomes ecstatic. He's so, so content that he wants to make a party to all the friends. So that's, that's here that we understand that's more people involved. There's a point here where there's a conversation between Mordin and Victor. I won't say explicitly here what is going on, as I didn't, but I suppose that you can figure out and put the puzzle together and understand what I'm saying and the meaning that I'm trying to imply. And then that's, there's the third act called The Sea, first scene, where well, at the end of the second act, we have Victor saying that he is going away, that he can't handle anymore, that he's tired of all of it all, um, because we know, like, we know afterwards of the event that Joe Sol punched Victor. And so Victor justifies that he wants to go away because of that. Um, and so in the third act, in the first scene, the sea, we have, we have Mordine very pregnant, like nine, nine months pregnant. She's about to uh, give birth. Friend Ed He's now in charge of a ship and he's going to take that ship away at midnight. And then we have here Victor again. We don't know where, when he came back, but he came, he come back uh, and he's with them again, helping. Uh, and comes a point, oh, there's a point before, before this. There's a point in here there, where there's a conversation between Joe Sol and friend Ed, where Joe Sol says that he wants to give a present to his, to born, to be born child, where he wants to, uh, do a uh, clinical analysis to himself so he can prove that he has good health and that he passes that on to the child. And friend Ed, understanding what that could mean, said to him that that was crazy, that 
we shouldn't do that. And so in this third act in the sea, we find Joe's soul coming back from doing that and having a conversation with friend Ed about it, where he found out, well, he tells a lie. He tells that he has a heart condition and friend Ed insists with him for him to tell the truth and Joe's soul crumbles and says what he discovered and then we have friend Ed confronting Joe's soul about his cower cowardice to face the facts and face the love that Mordin had for him and face the love and the, the presence sent from the heavens to him that he had everything that he wanted so what was he complaining about and then we have the last act that is called the child so it's still the third act but is the second scene and it's called the child where Mordin gives birth and we have only them two, Joe Sol and Mordin, in this uh, scene. And Mordin gives birth, and we have Joe Sol realizing his destiny. We have him figuring out what was most important to him. And so, yeah, it, this was. Um, I didn't have expectations for this book because I have no idea of what this book talked about uh, or what it was or anything. Um, and it was a good surprise. It was funny the way that in the preface John Steinbeck explained his project and what he did with this book. Um, and I have to say that it's not very different from a regular prose work or a regular novel, but um, it doesn't have the extensive descriptions of scenes or the ambience of um, each placement. Um, so we have a concentration in the dialogue and not so much in the context or where they are um, and so on. And we have few characters, so a concentration in the focus of the story. So we have here maybe what could be a long novel in a short format. So that for me worked very well. I really enjoy the um, straight to the point uh, where John Steinbeck leads us and it's a beautiful story, is a reality that I truly believe that is happening nowadays between couples where they sometimes have trouble with fertility and the um, the thoughts that fathers and that men and women have in their heads regarding infertility and what that means and what I am because of that um, and what I'm not. I want to have kids but uh, what, what are my options? Will I be a real father and a real mother? Will I be a good father or a good mother? So thoughts like that. Uh, so this, in the end, for me, my perspective, my opinion, is the meaning of what is the true meaning of being a parent to someone. To someone. It is by blood or it is by a decision. And the realization of Joe's soul, 
I think is the most beautiful thing that you can have in this life. So I don't want to give many much away, very much away, but I suppose you understood me. I didn't explicitly said what was going on, but I suppose you can figure it out. But in nothing or contrives the reading of this book. Um, it's a really fast read. I read this. I started this yesterday and I finished it today. But it was few hours. So it's uh, as I was saying. This is um, a big novel, a long novel, in one hundred pages. So. You have and you have a punch of an idea in here. I think you will love this book, and I think you will be thinking about it for a very long time. You don't have to be. I'm not a parent, for instance, and I can identify with this feeling, and I agree with it, and I think that John Steinbeck did a brilliant job representing and recreating that sentiment in this book. So I found it fabulous. I think this is a really concise work, but a really impactful one um, and a must read. So for the beginning of the year, I think this was great. This was a great start. And I'm really pleased, and I hope you'll give this one a try. If you're like me, and sometimes you are afraid of big chunks of books, there you go. We, you have here a big story in a concise um, size, <laughs> you know. So there you go. So yeah, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Don't forget to press the ring bell button to wall so you can receive all my notifications. Leave a like, it helps out the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. Something that I don't say but because I leave, the, I leave always in the box description is that I have affiliate links on Amazon, um, Amazon Spain and Amazon UK. Uh, if you want to do any type of purchase there, don't, it doesn't have to be books, anything at all. But I will leave the links for this book down below as I leave for every book that I review in here in my channel. I leave all the links down below and if you don't mind you could purchase through those links and from your purchase I receive a small commission. It doesn't change anything of your uh, purchase, of, of the amount of money of, of your purchase. I just receive a small commission through my link. And it's a way for you to help me bring more books because I spend my money in books basically and it's a way for you to help me so if you don't mind please use them if you are a portuguese viewer i have links for portuguese bookstores wook and bertrand they are all down below i have a little parenthesis for the link of wook because it's not working like it should but i explain that there so if you please could uh, buy through my links, I very much appreciate it. I'll be very thankful for that. And as I've said, it doesn't change the price that you have to pay. Uh, so the amount is the same and I just receive a small commission. So I'll be very thankful and yeah, I see you on the next one. Bye.